Okay, so we are going to try to um, smooth this out a little bit on the sides. Let's give this a shot. That worked out pretty decently. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna face it off. Now I'm just going to flip it over and do the other side. So some of you may have noticed a little nub in the center and that's just due to the fact that the uh, um, tool isn't centered exactly. So I added this tiny little brass washer and we'll see if I got it centered now. And I'm sure you can see that it's just a tiny, tiny little piece left over. I'm not going to try to center it. I don't have a shim the exact size, so that's going to be close enough. All right, so there it is. And I've taken the face down. 
uh, the face of the metal down a little bit. Now I'm going to have to drill a hole in the end of the metal for a set screw. Alright, so earlier what I did was I aligned my tail stock with the head stock by putting in a dead center and a live center and then pushing the two and then making some adjustments to that tail stock. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to drill the center. Now this is going to be for the set screw that's going to hold on the uh, the uh, tool, the cutting tool. That didn't go as planned, so let's check it out. Basically, it was just being fed too fast with this tiny little drill bit, so I'm just going to feed it a lot slower. And uh, all we're doing is getting a pilot hole in the center, and then we'll come back with a real drill bit, and then we're going to tap that hole so that we can, uh, from there, we can just put a set screw or a grub screw in. So. Dab of oil on there and go back at it. So, this is a really tiny drill, so I'm probably going to switch to a different drill here in a second. Um, I just don't want to snap this off. And since I'm probably going to go with a 316 inch screw, the hole's going to be rather large anyway. All right, so I switched to a bigger center drill. Cutting much easier. This drill is a lot more stable than the previous one. And that should pretty much do it for a pilot hole. Alright, so we drilled a hole for the uh, grub screw. Alright, so what I did was after I drilled this hole, I threaded it for a set screw. I drilled this hole. I'm going to have to make this one bigger and then I'm going to file it square so that this piece of steel will go through. And you'll see how much that uh, meat it has on each side. And then I'm going to have to cut this down to size and then that'll be my boring bar tool. All right, so it's coming along, and so um, there's the boring bar tool holder. It's a circular hole, and so we're going to have to file this square. I mean, you can see that it's got the little grub screw in there, so uh, it's coming along. And once again, this is uh, not my idea. I got this from somebody else, which is like most of the things on the Internet, but I uh, figured everyone kind of does it a little bit differently, so I'd make a video. All right, so here's what we got right now for the boring bar. I've got the set screw in, um, quarter inch hole there, and I ended up hand filing it. Um, there's not a whole lot of uh, metal on this side, but I don't think it's gonna be under much stress. Plus you can compensate for that by taking smaller cuts. So now I'm gonna have to cut this tooling down to the appropriate size, knowing that if I cut it real short, I'm only going to have like an eighth of an inch of an adjustment there for the inside. So I may end up making several of these uh, depending on the job that I'm doing. But for now, I want to build, I want to do a five eighths inch diameter hole. So it's going to be a real small tool. And that pretty much uh, is it other than cutting this. So I'm going to take this over to the metal cutting bandsaw and uh, cut it to the appropriate length. Okay, so there it is, the finished product. And it's mounted in the Jacob's Chuck 
So that is my boring bar and I can bore in the center here. If I'm boring off center then I can use my um, compound rest, my compound slide. Um, but for now that is the finished product. And let's see if you can see that in focus. There's the set screw. And this is just made out of a piece of steel. I don't even know what kind. Um, and that's it. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.